How many times have you gone into a store and saw some beautiful pieces of ceramics and thought, man, I wish I could do that? Well, today we're going to show you how you can at Alley Cat Ceramics on Dye Road in Gulfport off Dito Road. Well, John and Mary Martin are the owners here at Alley Cat Ceramics. How are you? Great. How are you? I'm wonderful. Uh, give me a little background. What got you into ceramics? My passion for ceramics. I love ceramics. I've been doing ceramics for 35 years. Mm -hmm. uh, started in 1980 with the proverbial Christmas tree. A red tree that turned out to be those. green. I remember those. Right. You put all the little lights on them. You do. And we have those in the shop, believe it or not. Do you? We do. Yes. Now, you've got a great selection of things in here, and we're going to show you some of them. But we want to show you kind of the process of which they go through whenever they do make these ceramic items. So, John, I'm going to take you back in the back, and we're going to show you how it gets started here at Alley Cat Ceramics in Gulfport. All right, what'd you just do? All right, this is a plaster mold that we used for creating our ceramic products. Mm -hmm. This is a liquid clay. Uh, we pump the liquid clay into the mold. Uh, over time, the water will be absorbed from this uh, slip, mm -hmm. uh, and you'll build up a wall thickness on here. It'll get thick enough to the point where it's self-supporting. You'll empty the excess out, leaving you a hollow shell, which gives you your final product. You'll let it set for a while, open the mold, set it over on the shelf and let it completely dry before we bring it out to uh, sell for the customers. Uh, okay. Then we, does it go to the kiln before or after you sell it? No. At this point, we're just going to be pouring it. We'll get a final product, but there will be seam lines and ah. little problems with it. So it'll have to be clean before we take it to the kiln to be fired. Okay. Sounds cool. Okay. Okay. So they picked the piece out of off the table or, or off the shelf and, and cleaned it up and the, you, get, you take it back here to the kiln? Correct. And here we'll fire it. This is, a, this is a, an 04, what we call an 04 firing, and this mm -hmm. is about 1928 degrees, uh, and that converts this from a clay piece to a solid crystalline structure, which is your, what we call bisque. Mm -hmm. And that would be the same as any dinnerware or anything that you would use. Wow. And then you take it and you can paint it. Correct. Now, this is what John was talking about, right, Mary, about cleaning the edges off of uh, before you take it back and firing it? That is correct. Mm -hmm. Because we are not just a contemporary studio where you buy pieces just to paint. We also are a traditional studio where you buy from greenware, buy the greenware, clean it yourself, and then have a finished product. So let me take you down here. This is um, our paints. We carry the full line of Mako paints and products. Um, we have some bisque and some uh, greenware on the shelves here. It's kind of intermixed. A little bit of everything. Okay. And I a noticed you got a lot of different designs and pieces that uh, people can choose from. We do. We carry lots of molds, different molds. We have the uh, Clay Magic, Creative Paradise, Doc Holiday, many, many different molds. So uh, there's a lot to choose from in bisque or greenware. And this up here is the uh, pottery. We have a pottery teacher, Bruce Davis, who owns Mud Run Pottery, is mm -hmm. teaching our uh, pottery classes. And uh, it's a six week course, two hours a week. Six week course, two hours a week, that's not bad. And so then in this one, we this is a Doc Holiday Paints. I used to teach the factory seminar twice a year when mm -hmm. I was at home. And uh, so we carry the full line of Doc Holiday acrylic paints also. And you have all the tools that you need to, and the brushes that you, we that do. you do. We carry uh, any supplies that you need to complete a piece of ceramics, we carry it. And if we don't have it for you, we'll find it, we'll get it. And then this is the classroom. This is where we have our classes, our structured classes. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see some work in progress here. Uh, some pieces that have been glazed and ready for firing, some oh, that's look. in greenware. It's that Christmas tree. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's With all the, the little one. holes so you can put the little bitty lights in there. That's right. And so we have uh, many tools. We have Christmas lights for all the trees. Uh, we teach airbrushing. That's what all these hoses are for. We teach airbrushing. Uh, come down here and I'll show you a few little things. These are. Uh, plates that we're working on for the silent auction at Fatima. Oh, those are nice. Thank you. Love these. Oh, I got to, this is nice. Look at here. This one here, this is Moke Snow Buddies. This is where they took their fingerprints, the their thumbprint, thumbprint, and put on there. Right. 
and then they put their little name on there. Right, and this is the pre-K. This is uh, the beginning. I painted the oak leaves, and then the children wrote their name, and I traced them on here just as they wrote it. They're four years old, and then uh, put the teacher's name here, and then this is a finished one where you have the oak leaves, so it uh, is like the, uh, the little acorns mm -hmm. where... Uh, Little acorns fall, mighty oaks do grow. Aww. So we have the little kids here, and then we have the oak trees with the teachers teaching the younger ones. And up here is uh, uh, two is that? chess sets that really? is also a work in progress. I was in Africa for four years, so this is a safari set that I'm working on. This is called the Battle of the Ages. It is a Doc Holliday mold and it is as close to the Lord of the Rings as you can get without infringing upon copyright. Right, exactly. Right. So what we do is we start with a uh, greenware piece, we clean it, we fire it, glaze it, apply the uh, fire it again and then apply the fired gold and then fire it again and then I start doing the work on the acrylics. That is beautiful. Thank Look you. Look at the detail on these. And those are the incomplete pieces but it's a work in progress. <laughs> And then this is... The These are the, the walls, the chest mm -hmm. that the board is going to sit on. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... I did the chest set in teal and burgundy. So I will take teal and burgundy glass and make my chest board with it. That's cool. So. Now, ta ta let's talk about the classes. Uh, I mean, one of the things that you do have is a, um, the pottery class with the, the uh, spin wheels. Right. We do. We have the uh, pottery wheels. That's uh, Mr. Bruce Davis, and he's teaching, and he's also teaching hand building with clay, and mm -hmm. also on the wheel of throwing your own pottery. And lots of people here. We have a, a huge pottery community from past Christian all the way, you know, past Ocean Springs. That people just love the pottery. Well, there's so many tremendous so, artists in the state of Mississippi absolutely. that you know that do the pottery, and you right. see it in a lot of the different uh, businesses. Right. Uh, that that uh, and. You never can tell. There may be a hidden one in, in right. out there watching right now saying, I wish I could do that. Exactly. And that's why we did our studio like this, because we wanted it to appeal to all phases of the art world, mm -hmm. whether it's pottery on the wheel, clay building with your hand, mm -hmm. or traditional uh, or contemporary ceramics. So that's why we did what we did. Tell us the hours that you're open. We are open Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday from 9 to 4.30. We're closed on Thursday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. On the second and last Friday of the month, we reopen from 6 to 10 at night for people that work and can't come out. And of course, if they want, if you want some information about the uh, classes, all you got to right. do is call the number on your screen to get here. Come off of Highway 49 on a Dito Road. You go east just a couple of blocks and you will see right behind the VFW. It's Die Road. You'll turn left on Die Road. It's right there. Come out and check them out. Alley Cat Ceramics out of the huge American flag.